What is good? We're back. Got my guy, Big D. How you doing, bud? Doing awesome, man. It was a crazy, uh, crazy week of football last week, but uh, we survived to see another day. So got that uh, Washington Huskies hat on, proud, ready to roll. Dogs, dubbing still it up, in, still in the hunt. Dogs still in the hunt. Dogs are still in the hunt. Well, gotta I take it when we can on the West Coast, brother. Yeah, you know, every all those Heisman hopeful guys kind of, you know. Had a couple of them had their down moments, especially mm-hmm. the quarterback Drake May lost. Caleb's had two bad ones. Penix won, but you know, not a not a yeah. crazy performance. It looked miserable Still there. Like, it was yeah, it was not a great night, yeah, weather wise, yeah, play wise, rhythm wise. <laughs> but like you were saying, Arizona State giving giving the Huskies some some trouble uh, mm-hmm. as of late. So nice uh, nice dub to keep it rolling over there for the last year of the Pac-12. So yeah, um, really Bad really. Day. Big, big, big Huskies fan with you this year, Big D. All right. All right. So today we're uh, we're going to hop into some potential maybe rebuild or to not rebuild. That is the question here. Um, over the next couple of weeks here, we're going to be talking a lot of rebuilds or, you know, what to do if you're contending or to rebuild or if you shouldn't rebuild, you should retool or patience, panic, all those kind of things. Um, so these are going to be some Patreon people, but um, hit us up on the Twitter at the FF Dynasty. Send us a, a message if you might want to enter a, a rebuilding team or dynasty trades or w- what should you do kind of deal. Hit us up and then, you know, we'll send you a DM and maybe we can get some information from you. So we'd like to give the public uh, a chance to to get thrown in here. But for now, we're going to give patrons uh, first crack. So we got a couple teams here. Um, Tone Bone, shout out to him. Appreciate you. He sends us a team. He says the co-manager is on the edge of a cliff. He's ready to tear it down. But I think we've just had uh, poop luck. We got our second win last night by 0.7 stat correction watch. Uh, any and all help is welcome and appreciated. Uh, so he kind of submits a team here. And, you know, wh- wh- what's your general thoughts, Big D, when you when you see a team like this? They're they're one and six, two and two and six now. Yeah, they're two and six. It's a one QB league. They do have a, a defense and a kicker. Um, and, and my general thought is, uh, you know, as, as maybe kind of go through this um, for our podcast listeners, um, you know, we've got Russ there holding down the only QB spot because he's got Richardson on IR the rest of the year. Uh, running backs, we got JT, we got uh, James Cook, we got Spears, Charbonnet. And then a few loose ends like Latavius Murray, AJ, and uh, um, Gibson. Wide receivers, we've got a bunch of youth holding us down. We've got uh, Garrett Wilson and, and Zay Flowers, Devontae Smith, Higgins, and then a couple on the on the back end, Pierce and Gallup, galloping around. Oh. Um, got some tight ends here. This is not a tight end premium, but but it is a PPR league, so we do have Hawk, uh, Kincaid, and and Pat uh, gonna gonna be coming back, and then. And then, like I said, we got uh, we're we're not going to talk about the defense and kickers because those are <laughs> those are fluid. But but we got a defense and kicker uh, one QB uh, team here. Um, he's got a full arsenal of picks, so they go f- uh, five rounds. So first uh, first pick all the way through the fifth pick, twenty twenty four. He's also got two additional. He's got an uh, an additional first round pick and an additional second round pick. So to recap that, a twenty twenty four two first. 2024, two seconds, a third, fourth, and a fifth. And then he's got his full um, variety of 25 picks. So, yeah. So, right out the cuffs, um, I mean, what I'm looking at is um, real quick, this, real quick. It yeah. looks like PPR and three wide receivers, no tight end premium. Did you hit that? I, I, I didn't hit the uh, three wide receivers. So, yeah, that's that's good, good knowledge, uh, not tight end. And it is PPR. And this is also a 12 team. Right. So. And when we do these, the much information as you can provide picks. Teams scoring, uh, all, all that jazz is is all the the more the better. So, uh, but yeah, keep it rolling. Yeah. So, um, you know, I I think the co managers on a cliff and ready to tear it down. I I don't really know where you would tear down at this point, right? Um, right. You know, sometimes you are in the middle of a tear down, so you got to identify where you're at, right? So, in my in my opinion, this team is already in rebuild mode. Uh, it's just maybe they thought they would be a little bit more competitive at this point, but, but I mean, they're, they have the, they have the, um, the depth to, to compete, I think, um, and go further, but they, they also have the arsenal to just 
really build a, a juggernaut in the next, um, you know, the next year or two. Um, so in my personal opinion, I, I think I'm just kind of riding this. Russ is uh, going to go out on a buy in, in two weeks. So you've, you've got to prepare for that. Two weeks as of today's recording. Uh, we're, we're recording on the 24th. Um of October. Uh, so, so you may want to make, make a move there and look to see if I can get, um, I, I don't know if I'm going to go big. I don't know if I'm going to splash at this point with anything. Um, you know, maybe, maybe that would be the only position where you could go do something. Could I, could I get rid of, uh, I, I don't know if I'd want to get rid of Richardson to be honest. Cause like I said, this yeah. is a very youthful team. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I think maybe I would test the, test the market and it's a one QB league. I, I hate paying for QBs. In one QB league. Sure. So, so that, that part's given, thrown me off a little bit, but I don't know. Can I, can I go get a, uh, can I go get Minshew? Like, can I get Minshew for a third? Oh, I'm sure you could get, I, I just did uh, in a one QB league. Um, it's tight end premium. And we, it's a little bit deeper roster bench uh, starting situation, but mm -hmm. I had, I was going into a week where I didn't, I had quarterbacks injured and I, on, I have Kyler and uh, Deshaun and uh, you know, in a one quarterback, I'm typically not going to carry a ton of quarterbacks. Right. Um, I forget who else I had, but they were out or on a buy. So I, you know, I traded a third round pick for Stafford mm -hmm. um, and there a, you go. In a one, in a one QB league. I mean, you know, that is what it is. I, there's no way I'm trading Anthony Richardson off this team. Like that's that's no. like the golden ticket. He had you know 16 points in a quarter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, he's he's got to learn and figure some things out. But we, we, the fantasy upside is certainly there. Um, so yeah, I think you can certainly obtain a cheap quarterback. You could get Minshew probably for nothing if you want to make sure you have a starter. Yeah. Um, but I think I might look to move Kincaid or even Pat and, and see if I can get a little bit more wide receiver depth. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I want to go too old. I don't know if I want to go after at this point of the season, I'm not going to go after like a Thielen or, you know, any, any, anybody like that. Um, but, it, but if I can move, um, you know, one of those decent um, tight ends for, for an up and coming uh, or relatively uh, up and coming wide receiver, I, I might do that. So some names to think about in that, you know, I, I might look at Houston. I might, I'm, I'm thinking of teams now, like I might look at Houston, see what, see what the cost on Nico Collins is. Cause I flop Kincaid for Nico. Like I might do something like that. Um, I might try to send Kincaid for um, uh, I'm, I'm okay with going after like Amari, even though he's older, he's still only 29. I think he's still got, juice left in there i might might see if i can do kincaid for amari and maybe see if i can get a little maybe that's where i try to get my my veteran quarterback or something to that effect you know yeah like the, those are kind of the 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 plays that i would probably do with this team is try to try to get a piece on on in the wide receiver um and 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 also fill in my quarterback spot but um I mean, for the most part, man, I mean, with two first, two seconds and the best class that there ever was, um, <laughs> 2024, sure. uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing, doing much, um, much, much as far as competing. I don't, I don't think I'm going to go too hard on it. I, I don't want right. to get rid of any of my first for this team yeah. right now. Um, no, no, no. Yeah. If I can get a deal on a second, like, can I take a second and Higgins, and maybe upgrade a little bit up a tier or something. I, I might like yeah. to do that, you know? Um, right. I, I think that's, that's a lot of what you're trying to do right now. I don't mm -hmm. know that you're really necessarily, you're, you're already in a hole. You just got a second win, which you could rip off two or three in a row. And then all of a sudden you're pretty close to 500. And if, you know, the bottom half of this league is all pretty bad and the, you know, the top half of the league is really good and it leaves some middle, maybe you could make the playoffs this year, but do you want to, I'm not sure. Um, right. You know, the roster, like you said, it really isn't bad. Any given week, you could you could put up some pretty good points. Now you got Taylor coming back. Um, you know, your running backs all year were probably a reason why you weren't really winning. Um, you know, mm -hmm. you didn't really have anybody to start. You might catch a, a spot from Gibson or a spot from Spears. Um, but you know, you were playing cook every week and Taylor, you probably played him last week and he didn't do anything for you. And then, the, you know, this week, Taylor, you know, gets back to form a little bit. And I think we'll see that, you know, continue. Um, 
you know, you do, you had Garrett Wilson who lost his guy right off the rip, or he he'd be he probably would have accounted for another win for you uh, mm-hmm. here. And T.J. Hawkinson, yeah, Hawkinson's <laughs> been good. Richardson might have been in the lineup for longer if he doesn't get hurt. He's he would have probably helped you get a win or two. So you're right there. There's no reason to be tearing anything down. I think the best thing that you're going to be trying to do is I don't you know I don't know that you need to be trying to compete this year necessarily. I mean, you know. Hey, yeah. if you think you can gain an edge there, go for it. Um, I don't even care if week nine, if you don't start a quarterback, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, hey, I don't have one. I'm not going to trade for one if I'm not winning. So, you know, if the league, rest of the league's upset about it, like maybe you could find somebody on waivers. It's only a 22-person league, so there could be a quarterback potentially out there that might even be startable. Um, like a Zach Wilson or... Just just something, yeah. anything. Mm-hmm. Maybe not Wilson, just but like Minshew was probably out there a few weeks ago. You know That's what I true. mean? Yeah. So like somebody could potentially be out there in a... Brian Hoyer. I don't know where... Right. Just, that. yeah, if you can yeah. find a backup mm-hmm. to, to play that looks like he's coming, coming into play, shit happens, miss a week. Maybe maybe PJ Walker or DTR plays another week or two um, and, and Watson sits out. You know, I don't know. Uh, but I don't even really necessarily per se care about figuring out my quarterback situation for this team, especially because I'm, I don't know that I'd, I'd be trying to mostly just angle towards next year a little bit. I'm not one that just gives up, but you have a good team here. Yeah. Um, you know, the players that I'd be trying to move off of would be Gabriel Davis. Um, at, you know, obviously didn't have a good week this past week, but before that I would have been sending out offers just to try to try, try to get him off the team, try to figure out how I could, add something to it and go up. You were saying about getting another guy. I can, I add Gabe Davis to, and, and a two that I, cause he's got, he's got two, two ones and two twos already. So you're going to come and add four more decent picks to this team. Yeah. Um, coming into next year. And I mean, shit, just, just in this year, like if you added Zay flowers and, and Jordan Addison to your team or Zay flowers and a chain to your team, I chain to your team, whatever he's going by these days, uh, you know, this team's looking good and you got yeah. some fun assets and he did add flowers to this team. Um, you know, and Addison was awesome last night and has been awesome or been good uh, throughout the season with Jefferson. So, you know, you, you, he added Kincaid uh, to the team and now, you know, Kincaid, all of a sudden the usage is going up wrist surgery for, um, for Knox. So, and he's got Hawkinson. So tight end is typically this place where I'm least concerned with in one and no premium. Yeah. And no Um, premium. Yep. So, if you wanted to throttle down, even say if even if you wanted to come off of Hawkinson or Kincaid and, and throttle down, grab try to go down to like a McBride and 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 add another pick or another piece to it and, and get rid of one of those tight ends. Fine. I, I, I like to keep tight ends on my team. I like to keep two or three. Like right now, I got a, a non premium tight end league where I have Waller, Laporta and Schultz. You know, yep. and that's that's been working out pretty good for me all year. The first couple of weeks I got burnt by Waller. Then I threw Port Laporta in there for a couple of weeks. Now Waller's been back in there. Schultz got me a week uh, when Laporta was hurt and, and Waller was out maybe or maybe uh, maybe it was the first week of I don't remember what happened, but I think I played Schultz one week. Uh, so, you know, I like a little bit of a rotation there. So those would be guys that I'd be looking to kind of, you know, add a part to and, and move up or, or grab some more pieces. I think Nico, it was a good um, ad, you know, Jacoby's one of those guys who, who you have, who could be valuable to somebody right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I don't know that I'm necessarily looking to move off of Devonta Smith per se, and probably not the best time to do so. So, you know, if you wanted to try to, power up to one more super elite asset. If you could, you know, add, add something to T Higgins, like, uh, you know, like you said earlier, maybe you could, maybe you could power up to, to, an, you know, a more aggressive asset. Your, your running back situation isn't, isn't awesome right now. Um, but that's okay. If you're, if you're not competing, I, I don't really want my running back situation or you don't feel like you're competing. I don't want my running back situation to be awesome. Right. Um, you know, any, if, if I could, you know, would you would what, what what kind of player would you like to move to from from Jacoby Myers or is he somebody that you just keep around? I can go either way on him. He's not super old. I think he's a good player. Um, you know, the situation is a little eh, but it's still been fine for him for the whole year for even the situation that he's in. So it doesn't concern me, a, a, you know, a terrible amount. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Jacoby for me on this team, I would just keep, he's 24, 25 as I should look it up. Um, he, he's, he's relatively young. 
Um, I, the, the reason why I think I would keep him though in this case is I, I don't know if he's going to get you. I don't know if he's going to get you much comparison to what his value could add to your team when you yeah. do start to compete. And I think he's still in that window. Um, you said Hawk there. I think I would try to keep Hawk on this team. Um, yeah, non uh, non tight yeah. end premium. I'm trying to keep volume tight ends. Um, mm-hmm. You know, uh, especially with the build that, that he has going here. If it, it was a little bit more star power or or high end power in the wide receiver room, I might look for a touchdown tight end, right? But but with the lack of um, of 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 constant big play, um, you know, like you said, Garrett. Well, if Garrett Wilson had uh, Rogers this year and they were just clicking with say flowers, then, then I might look to move off of, of Hawk. But I, but I think at this point, um, I, I think I would, I would keep him, but yeah, I, I think I missed Gabe Davis. So if, if on the podcast, if you're listening and all of a sudden, Corey, uh, <laughs> it, if all of a sudden you start hearing, wait, Gabe Davis, who's, you know, I, I missed him on there. So yeah, he's, he's definitely a name that I would, I would kind of, kind of float out there. Um, yeah. What, what do I have to add to, to Gabe or Gabe for like to get a Rashi rice, or if I go to Gabe and, and Josh Downs, and obviously Downs just had a good week, so it's probably not the best time. But you know, what what do I add to to, to that to to try to get you know a Rashi Rice? Could I get could I swap Gabe Davis or Rashi Rice right yeah. off and just kind of start that process over again of getting three years to see if Rashi will ascend to what right. we think he can? He already sort of is in my eyes a little bit. So you mm-hmm. know, the, I think you know somebody like that. I'm always trying to get a little bit younger when we're doing those things. Um, you know, Marvin Mims right now not being used a whole lot could be a nice little target for you to, you know, Gabe Davis and, and Mims in a two or something. You know, maybe you could get do something like that where you get the Gabe Davis fluctuation out of your lineup. You get rid of Gabe Davis. You get uh, Marvin Mims, who people kind of like a good bit, just isn't getting the usage. Um, th- those are usually the kind of targets. Downs, like I said, had a good week, uh, so probably not the best week to target him. Uh, right. But Tank Dell's been a guy who's been out and hasn't been crushing. Um, so, you know, people forget really quick how, how mm-hmm. you know, how he was really hard to get off your team. And now he might be a little bit easier to get off somebody's team right now. Uh, Hi, I'm so, Dory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, anything else on this one? So bef- before we move on? No, I don't think so. I, th- I think I think. You pretty much covered it. I know that his first are ones looking like the beginning, ones looking like the end. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I think again, I'm I'm kind of holding those those first. I'm, I don't really feel like I at, at the top of this. We said I I don't really feel like I want to do a lot of moves on this team, and you kind of alluded to that. I I I always try to set a lineup, so I'm 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 a little hesitant to not have a quarterback, uh, just just from yeah. uh, from a commissioner's perspective. But <laughs> but uh, but but what do you want a, me to do? <laughs> yeah, from a competitive perspective, I completely get it. And and like you said, there there could be something um, waiver wire wise on a twelve team 20, 20, uh, 22, 22 players, but a couple of those are kickers and defense. Like right, you know, um, there 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 might be something on the waiver or something that you can scrape by and, and throw in there, but. Uh, I, I think you are in rebuild. I, I don't think that there is any question of that. Um, I the the only other piece that I would say is you could capitalize on one of those running backs. I was going to say, uh, what are your thoughts on you know if if, if you feel like you got to make a move, JT or Cook? Um, yeah, would I would you- love to move Cook. You know, personally, I would love to move Cook, and if I could move, um, you know. Let's see if I can move like Cook and Higgins and upgrade uh, or Cook and um, Gabe Davis. Uh, it's hard to send two players from the same team. So that, right. I was trying to stay away from that that analogy. But if I could send those two and maybe a second and, and upgrade a tier at wide receiver, I, I, I would definitely look to do that. I, I'd even do it at running back. But running backs are hard to buy, as, as you know. Like not, not many people are selling running backs. If there's another team that's tanking. Um, that would be one right. of my other advices is like, if you see another team that's in the league, that's really tanking, don't be afraid to buy, uh, on the cheap too. I, I, you know, we want to hold on to those first, but if I can get, if I can send, you know, cook and a 24 first and get 
ETN, which I know sounds crazy, but I, I've seen it happen in leagues. Like I would do that. I, even though I'm, I'm not necessarily looking to compete. Like I'm, I'm also building a dynasty team here. So right. if I could send my late first and, and a piece like that on a team that yeah. I know was just all they're doing is I just want first, I just want draft picks. Um, normally you can get a little bit of value there from those teams that are maybe a little bit further down than you and, and see if you could do that as well. Yeah, no, I, th- I think that's a, I think that's a good plan. Um, you know, and then you know, obviously, like you said, any of those teams that have, if, if Brees or, or one of those top guys like ETN or somehow is you think might be available. I'm um, again, like you said, I think that's, you know, we always lose sight of if we're rebuilding all you want is picks understood. I, that's, that's the, that's the currency that you want to try to operate in, but you know, you can use that currency for other things besides making those picks. Um, so yeah, I think that's always a good thing to keep in mind. And, and, you know, JT is, is kind of right in there. We're hoping the value will keep even coming back. Not a bad week to try to sell Cook. He just had a 16-point game. But, you know, mm-hmm. you know, Spears and Charbonnet are nice nice little rebuild guys. We think that Spears' this time is coming. We think Charbonnet is a good player. Yep. Um, you know, A.J. Dillon's a bit of a bummer. But, I, you know, and I think actually Antonio Gibson at some point here will – will rebound value wise a little bit and have a little bit more value than, than he currently does probably take until he's off of the, uh, the, the commanders there. I believe this is the last year. Um, I think there's some juice there um, that, that we could see another value spike there. So you're probably holding him for the most part, but yeah, I'd be, I'd be fine if I could capitalize with adding something to cook and, and going to get something uh, kind of like he said there. So, yeah, I, you know it's probably not the best time to be selling T either. So you know T Higgins has got to probably got to stay on the team for here for a minute. Yeah. So and I, and I like you said I w- I wouldn't sell Garrett Wilson. Definitely not selling Zay Flowers. So yeah, I mean it's not necessarily a rebuild. You've kind of got some young youth, but you're you know you don't. There's no reason to tear it all completely down. Um, and I think that's yeah. you know everybody. I think because the narrative is out D- dynasty has gotten more popular and there's more people talking about it. And it's just the, the narrative is like, man, half these leagues that I, that I was, that, that I've been in, or especially with, you know, some industry guys, even like, it's mm-hmm. almost like they're, it's, it's more fun and cool to be in the perpetual state of rebuild than actually going for something. So, you know, I like to try to get in and out of those things, you know, in a year to stock the cabinets and then start, you know, the process of trying to actually go win again. Cause I just, I feel like everybody's just ready to press the button and, and blow it up so fast. If you don't have every, if you don't have four of the top, uh, you know, players from each position on your team, then, you know, you must have to blow it up. And it's like, man, a few things could have gone differently with this team yeah. and you could be, uh, you know, 500 or, or a game above 500, you know? Yeah. I, th- I think another good way to, to look at rebuilds is to think of it in, in in another market right like so let's take it out of football for a second and let's take it into the housing market right how many times do people buy houses to flip and completely destroy down to the foundation (laughs) you know not very often right and so when you're when you're doing a rebuild kind of think of where you're at in 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 the journey right are you do you have to rip it down to the studs um I, I don't think that happens as often as people want to say that it happens. I, I think that uh, we we try to do that because it feels it feels great to have a seven first round picks in some some classes. I mean, seven first round picks are I mean, you just basically re- rebuilt your whole team. But some classes, man, we if you look back on draft classes, not not all of all of those draft classes. If you had seven first round picks, really you know, completely rebuild you, you know, um, right. if, if you just stay and stick with those. So, so back to the house analogy, you know, maybe you just need to rebuild the kitchen a little bit, right? Like, like maybe, you know, and in this case with T-Bone, like, I mean, you're, you're already there, man. You're not, you're not turnkey yet, but you're, uh, but you're, you're in the middle of your rebuild. So it's not a teardown because you're already doing, you already got construction going on with a lot of this youth. So I, I would just look um, like we, like we said, I think we covered it, but just look at a few spots here and there where you, where you can add, um, you know, maybe instead of redoing your cabinets and tearing them completely down, you just add some knobs, right? Like, yeah, maybe resurface them, <laughs> resurface them. Right. Exactly. Um, just, just do, do think of it from, from a different time, a different way. Sometimes looking at it in a different way is, is a helps with the, um, 
the relation to your team. If, if house flipping and building houses and stuff, you have no clue what that means. Maybe it's cars for you. Maybe it's, you know, wh whatever that is, whatever you know where you can take something and change it into value. Like think of it from that perspective and then say, what is this team like really? Is it, is it a house that's been condemned and I got to tear it down and rebuild it completely? Or is it a house that is in a really great neighborhood and is outdated and just needs a little bit of love and care. Right. So, right. so uh, that, that would be one of my suggestions when we, when we're looking at rebuilds is like where um, first evaluate where your rebuild is at. So, or if you are in a rebuild, like you said earlier, there's retool too. Right. So right. I said on a different pod, that, um, you know, this team is not necessarily competitive. It's not at the top of the league. And obviously he's had some bad luck here, but there's other teams out there. Um, we had a question in our, in our discord, um, from, uh, our boy Raz two, three, nine, four, five. And he's got a squad that he's just had some really tough luck, right? He's sitting at one and six, but his, his, uh, I won't read his whole team because it, you know, it's, it's tough, but let's just give the highlights here. He's got Herbert, Bijan, Lamb, Wilson, uh, um, a Chan. So, I mean, right there, I mean, he's got, I mean, that's, that's where you talk about, okay, this house is in, <laughs> this house is in good shape, man. Like I need, I need to do a little bit of work here and there, but I've had some tough luck. I, I, you know, take a step back, ask advice, like from us or from other analysts that you trust and, and, and say this, this team is still really good. You're one in six. You could probably go on a run, but next year, even if you, if your bad luck with the scoring continues, you're just going to add to this arsenal and be, be in, in good shape. So, um, so not to go off on a tangent, but that's just some of those, uh, some of the advice that I, I, I would give is really before you start the rebuild process, really evaluate your team and look at it in comparison to your league and say, am I actually rebuilding? Am I retooling? Am I stripping this thing down to the studs? You know, what, what am I doing? And, and then kind of, kind of get a plan and then start to go from there. So, yeah. No, I think that's a great analogy. So uh, let's wrap this one up and, and we got a mm -hmm. couple more for you. So uh, we'll, we'll throw those in a, in a different video and uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, please like subscribe, review five star review, all that kind of jazz comment below. And then uh, as well as hit us up on the Twitter at the FF dynasty. If you, uh, if you want to try to get in on some, you know, kind of team evaluation, rebuilding kind of, how and what to do um hit us up over there send us a, a a tweet and then you know maybe we'll hop over to the dms you could also uh, maybe hit it us in the comments with with some stuff and maybe we'll take those over to there like i said more information uh the better and then of course you can always get to discord and we will take those as top priority for sure and and probably talk about them via text in the discord or just be doing a patreon show and and, and throw those in there because uh, we just kind of that's what we do so Big D, appreciate it, man. And uh, we'll be back for another one. We'll catch you next time. Peace.